So this is my hibiscus. I just had to show you guys how she is popping today. <laughs> Look at this. She fell over once. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh no, my pink one fell over. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna one. There. Okay, now I put my pink flowers there and I put the brick so it doesn't fall. But I've got great news. I just had to share this. I have really great news for my friends who've known me at least a year. This is gonna make you so happy. Look at this. You know what that is? My dark purple hydrangea. She is getting ready to burst some flowers. Look at that. She's ready. Oh, they don't even look kind of red, pink, I mean purple. But I don't know how they're going to come out. Because um, she basically died. My hydrangeas, both of these plants died. Um, almost died uh, during Hurricane Michael. So these two right here died. And they were just sticks. So I just basically, I didn't even cut them. I broke them back. Um, and since then, though, um, they were withheld with no sun, no water for about two, three weeks. So if you can imagine what they look like, that was terrible. Um, it wasn't my fault. Though. Anyway, so now she is getting ready to get flowers. Isn't that amazing? You guys. I know, you. the ones that remember, she had big purple flat hydrangeas the size of Texas that were my color hair, the same color purple as my hair. I mean, crazy. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys the flowers and let you know we're still alive. And, um, and that's a good shot. Um, we're still alive and, you know, we're praying for everyone and really, really hope this pandemic uh, doesn't take any more lives. Um, but the reality is it's already been set loose in the world. And um, when you set loose a monster like that, you cannot <laughs> tame him unless you cordon him off. And we haven't done that. So since we have not cordoned it off and we have not quarantined like... I believe we should have a long time ago. Sorry, I'm not trying to be political. It's just how I feel about this virus. It's scary for somebody like me who has, you know, depend on oxygen to survive. So, um, and a hose. I mean, not just air you breathe. I just have a hose on. So, you know, it's a big deal for somebody like me who has respiratory and heart problems, lung and heart problems. So. You know, it is upsetting that someone let this virus leave China. Someone let this virus leave Wuhan. Someone let this virus go on for several, for a couple of months. Because it, it started in November, y'all. The first case of the coronavirus back in November in Wuhan, <laughs> China. So do some research if you want to pick on me. Go for it. But let's just do the facts and not be ugly we can be kind right i love y'all <laughs> i'm not doing this